7 MPs leave Labour Party in protest at Jeremy Corbyn's leadership. 7 MPs have resigned from the Labour Party in protest at Jeremy Corbyn's approach to Brexit and anti-Semitism. They are, Chuka Amuna, Lucena Berger, Chris Leslie, Angela Smith, Mike Gapes, Gavin Shuker, and Ann Coffey. Ms. Berger said Labour had become institutionally anti-Semitic and she was embarrassed and ashamed to stay. Mr. Corbyn said he was disappointed the MPs had felt unable to continue working for the policies that inspired millions at the 2017 election. Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell said the honourable thing for them to do would be to stand down as MPs and seek to return to Parliament in by-elections. Quinsburg, what next for Labour's breakaway MPs? Who are the Labour MPs resigning? Cowards and traitors, how Twitter reacted. Labour's deputy leader Tom Watson, in a video message on Facebook, urged the hard left to stop celebrating the departure of the seven MPs, saying it was a moment for regret and reflection not for a mood of anger or a tone of triumph. Betrayal narratives and shouting insults at the departed might make some feel better briefly but it does nothing to address the reasons that good colleagues might want to leave, said Mr. Watson. He said Lucena Berger's decision to quit was a wake-up call for the Labour Party over anti-Semitism, saying, we were slow to acknowledge we had a problem and even slower to deal with it. Labour had to broaden out and become more tolerant, he said, adding. I love this party. But sometimes I no longer recognize it, that is why I do not regard those who have resigned today as traitors. What is the new group trying to do? The seven MPs, who all back a further EU referendum, are not launching a new political party, they will sit in Parliament as the independent group. But Chuka Amuna said they had taken the first step and urged other Labour MPs, and members of other parties, to join them in building a new politics. It is time we dumped this country's old-fashioned politics and created an alternative that does justice to who we are today and gives this country a politics fit for the here and now, the 21st century, he said at a launch event in central London. He said there would be no merger with the Liberal Democrats, who have 11 MPs, and the group wanted to build a new alternative. The group rejected comparisons with the Social Democratic Party, which broke away from the Labour Party in the early 1980s but eventually merged with the Liberal Party, saying it was a different era and they would not be contesting by-elections. Who were the Social Democratic Party? Labour, 673 anti-Semitism reports in 10 months. A Guide to Labour Anti-Semitism Claims In a founding statement on its website, the group sets out its approach to the economy, public services and security, as well as Brexit. One of the seven MPs, Angela Smith, has, meanwhile, had to apologize after being criticized for a comment about skin color on BBC Two's Politics Live program. In a discussion about race, the MP appeared to say, it's not just about being black or a funny tinge. She has since posted a video on Twitter apologizing for the comment, adding, I am very upset that I misspoke so badly. Could more MPs defect a new group? By BBC political correspondent Ian Watson. Defections to the independent group are likely to increase, but it will need to attract some of those beyond Labour to become a proper centre party. Two more MPs were undecided about whether to be at the launch. One of them was 90% but clearly not 100% there. And more still may be persuaded to go unless they see a more robust response to anti-Semitism. But strong supporters of the Blair, Brown governments such as Peter Kyle and Ben Bradshaw are staying to fight their corner on Brexit and it's likely in the short term the numbers who do go will be small. This is no simple centrists v left, or indeed, ultra-left split. However, the reaction of left-wing activists to today's drama could be crucial. If they feel fired up to deselect those who share the politics of the defectors but who have no intention of leaving Labour, the splinter could yet become a more sizable split. What did the defecting MPs say? Each of the seven took turns to explain their personal reasons for quitting the party. Ms. Berger said, 
I am leaving behind a culture of bullying, bigotry and intimidation. Chris Leslie said labor under Mr. Corbyn had been hijacked by the machine politics of the hard left. Mike Gapes said he was sickened that labor is now perceived by many as a racist, anti-Semitic party and furious that the labor leadership is complicit in facilitating Brexit. How did it go down with other labor MPs? Senior labor figures, including former leader Ed Miliband and London Mayor Sadiq Khan, expressed their dismay at the split, with Mr Khan saying on Facebook that the seven MPs were friends of his but he would not be joining their new group and it was a desperately sad day. In a statement, Jeremy Corbyn said, I am disappointed that these MPs have felt unable to continue to work together for the labor policies that inspired millions at the last election and saw us increase our vote by the largest share since 1945. What about the unions and momentum? GMB leader Tim Roach described the MPs' actions as unforgivable, adding that they were hardly the magnificent seven. Unite General Secretary Len McCluskey, a close ally of Mr. Corbyn, said there was a strong whiff of hypocrisy about the resigning MPs because they had stood on a manifesto at the 2017 general election that promised to respect the 2016 referendum taking us out of Europe. John Landsman, the founder of the pro-Corbyn Momentum campaign group, said he had personal sympathy for Emsberger because of the hate and abuse she had suffered. But he said the other six MPs were malcontents opposed to Mr. Corbyn's leadership telling BBC Radio 4's World at One, these are people who are not heavyweights and do not have clear policies. How have other parties reacted? Liberal Democrat leader Servant Scable said the split was not unexpected, or unwelcome and his party was open to working with like-minded groups and individuals in order to give the people the final say on Brexit, with the option to remain in the EU. Conservative Party Chairman Brandon Lewis said the resignations had confirmed that Labour has become the Jeremy Corbyn party, failing to take action on everything from tackling anti-Jewish racism to keeping our country safe. Former UK pleader Nigel Farage, whose new Brexit party launched earlier this year, tweeted, This moment may not look very exciting but it is the beginning of something bigger in British politics, realignment. How many MPs are independent? The resignation of seven Labour MPs leaves Jeremy Corbyn with 248 MPs under his leadership. For now, the new group will sit as independents, but could soon form a new political party. Five other MPs are already sitting as independents after leaving the Labour Party for various reasons, but they are not part of an organised group. Separately, Peter Borough MP Fiona Onasanya was kicked out of the party when she was jailed in January. There are two other independent MPs, former Lib Dim Stephen Lloyd, who quit his party because he disagrees with them on Brexit, and North Down MP Lady Sylvia Herman, a former Ulster Unionist. Don't the new independent group have to form a party? Not necessarily. Parties are membership organizations that are registered with the Electoral Commission and stand candidates in elections. They also have a leader. One major advantage of forming a party, rather than just a parliamentary group, is that you qualify for government money to help with research, which may be a factor in the new group taking the next step. Under the rules of Parliament, none of the MPs who have resigned from Labour today have to put themselves forward for re-election in their constituencies.